Okay. Good morning. Happy April 1st. <laughs> Let's see. I see Ron, Noah, Bear in the Garden, W. Newt, Avril, Stephen, Loki, Colleen. Stewart's going to bed soon. Hopefully, not too soon. I'm pixelated, Ambrose. Good morning, Ambrose. Alan, MM, a lonely retriever. We're here. I know, I'm always late. Well, I can hear myself. Doomsday tonight on Twitch, hello. Dennis, glad you enjoy. Florian, hello. Let's see, Joaquim, Deborah, check the date. Check the date. Gerard, Lonely Retriever, da -da -da. Apple, Amazon, Google, David Balmer. Ah, uh, you got it, you got it already. Yes, yes, I know. It's a silly one, but it's, it's an easy one to get people wondering. That's right, Andy. All above board, of course. <laughs> All the licenses are in place, maybe. Uh, Sue, photos around New York. John Agius, Christina G. Al Mayer is here. Good to see you again. Nathan Newman. Oh, I'm in Tokyo. Peter and the birds. Hello. Good morning. Carla, hello. Vernon, good morning. John Casella, good morning. Nightmare has seen worse jokes. Well, I feel like it, it'll make sense for like the regulars, you know? Since that's been kind of a running gag here. Yeah, there's a lot of annoying ones going around today. I think I think Google Keep claimed Oh my. That was scary. That weight really came out of nowhere. Uh, Google Keep is shutting down, claimed some Twitter account. There's, a, there's an account called Killed by Google on Twitter, or X, that says all the different things that Google has killed over the years. Can't trust them. Allie, good morning. Nathan, check the date. What? That's an April Fool's. I'm voicing over Sean, and vice versa. That would be a pretty good one too, actually. Because my pocket has a couple of things that are clanging together. Maybe I am galloping, though. Let's see if I can... Uh, I'll move this to a different pocket. It's this thing. Andrea Stevens, Spencer Davies, C. Medina, Stephen Schober. You will see my job, or will you? I'm going to get some upset comments about my scam. That's right. Yes, give it to me. Show me what you got. I'll take you all on. <laughs> but good morning. How did the ravioli turn out? Are they not doing that? It's unfortunate, I'm here. My goods. You know your judo well. Is Jim Barrows here on Barrow Street? Or just about to cross it. How are my legs after yesterday? Yeah, no problems. I'm definitely glad that after this stream I'll be sitting 
doing work the rest of the day. And then I gotta go to Monday Night Raw tonight, you know? That's gonna be fun. But it's definitely gonna make me fall asleep later than I want. Tomorrow's gonna be a sad day for my body. I'm gonna be a sad panda. Twenty years ago today, Google launches Gmail. Ah, uh, I'm pretty sure I had them before they officially launched. I was invited into Gmail by someone else who was invited into Gmail and they had to get invites to actually get in. So I think I got in in 2004, but with an invite. I could probably go back to my first mail in the history just to see exactly when I first truly joined. Yep. Oh, ah. Yeah, Spy Hunter, good thing I'm, I'm on unlimited data in all my hotspots that I have. Michael Richards Kramer's back for a bit. This little Ruby's is kind of a cool little location. They're a very popular brunch spot. I like all of their locations are quite popular brunch on the weekends. Any good power bank brands? I tend to just go for Anchor these days, just because they have a little, a bit of a name behind them, and you really don't want like a, a no-name power bank like going on fire, right? It's like Anchor, Rav Power. I feel like those have been okay. No extra helpings were had. I didn't have any. I don't understand, <laughs> but it sounds like it was good. Ah, I want to cross. How come I'm not able to catch up here? I'm having trouble. Am I a small claims adjuster? I'll adjust D's. I'm kidding. That's right, Stuart. If you smell what the commuter is cooking. The Rock is definitely going to be there. This is like the last Raw before WrestleMania. He's been a big part of the uh, narrative recently. Yeah, this, this Monday, today he'll be there. I'm assuming he'll be there on Friday Night SmackDown also. It's, it'll be kind of messed up if he's not. Because I don't know that he's actually going to wrestle that much at WrestleMania. Like, yeah, he's in the tag team, but I don't know. We'll see. Stephen wants a free member. Can I, can I give out free memberships now? I thought I read something about channel creators being able to do that. I have to look into that later. I'm going to finish the story finally. I am the council. I am the senate. It's National Have Fun at Work Day. Mm, no thanks. Uh, this ain't stupid day. That's my kind of day. Oh, Nickelodeon turns 45 today? Wow. I mean, Nickelodeon was a big part of my childhood in the 90s. That was like, I don't know. I know everyone always says that about their own era, but like that was like the heyday of cartoons. Like the heyday of Nickelodeon, of Cartoon Network. Prove me wrong. Wow, that was a really cute little espresso bar. Wow. No, Kevin Park. You know what this is. Yes, Andy. Gmail. We have your data. Wasn't there an original slogan like, don't be evil or something like that? Uh, Chris, no, we're good. Actually, Mrs. Commuter's gonna go too. And my, actually, my co host G's going with me too. We're, uh, oh, this guy's just backing up. 
Okay. New York Post announced congestion charges for pedestrians. <laughs> I mean, the joke is, the, the, the worst part about that joke is pedestrians are going to be affected by congestion pricing too. It's, uh, <laughs> that's, that's the joke. Uh, I, yeah, let me know any good jokes, because uh, I haven't really gone through the news yet. So if you've heard of any particularly good April Fool's jokes for today, let me know. I will be curious to read them. Ooh, townhouse for seven. I think we've seen this one before. Mojave, Wolfie. Why am I so slow? I can't catch up with the chat today. Oh, yeah, unfortunately, it's like, yeah, some of the producers or whoever worked with Nickelodeon were maybe not as uh, wholesome as you would like. I didn't watch Quiet on set, no. I'd like to be in that film, Stuart. Rocko's Modern Life. Rocko's Modern Life. Man. Isn't it weird that Nick logo is afoot? Did I not re realize that? Look at the way they have the terraces set up over there. I don't even understand how it's set up. It's like, it's like they built an extra little room over there with another roof deck on it and then an extra balcony that may be connecting these two buildings. Huh. We're on Bank Street, by the way. No pants to work day. Yeah, that is fine if you work from home. Unless it's also keep your cameras under your desk day, then then we got another problem. Adult free holiday packages? Ooh, what's included? Spencer heard of some U2 drummer replacements. Dave enjoyed the cartoons from the 70s. Oh, it's Grant is back. One less name. Yeah, whatever you feel comfortable with. Cubby hole. Hmm. Is that going to be an April Fool's, Peter? I'm curious. Is there nothing going on today with a uh, walking man dude? Whatever happened to that? Catheter tester, rubber pants designer. That's true, what job haven't I had? I am... Um, I've done it all, really. Man, they tore up every street. And it's all just kicking up dust everywhere. Where, where's like the ability to cross over here? Johnny Wilkers, hello. Will I acknowledge the tribal chief? I mean, I think I might have to. This looks like a very fancy bakery. They, they, got, they got their... They're carefully crafting the the baked goods in the windows here. Why did she have to walk like right on the wrong side of the street? Anyway. Like she, she like actively went to squeeze in on that side. Anyway. Cynthia's here, good morning. Natalie Shulgina, Dobre Utra, Roshodyan. To you as well. Have a good day. Good morning. Fiddler's Green is here. Hello. Best walking shoes? I don't know. I just use my North Face sneakers until I run out. I know Bakers and Walk Sean recommends Merrill.
Man, but they're taking forever to like... How, how long does it stay torn up for? Do they tear them all up and then refill them all after they're all torn up? Repave them all? Like, it's, some of them feel like they've been torn up for quite a while and I, I imagine it's not very fun for the cyclists either to have to drive on those or ride on those ripped up roads. Rome check 75, Adam has made it. Good morning. Oh wait, oh, we gotta get to the High Line. I kinda want, I took it a little bit of a roundabout path today. Is CM Punk still out of commission? I think he may make some moves at WrestleMania. Like they claim he's not medically cleared, but he also could be secretly medically cleared. Let's see. He also may, start a new storyline by doing something that he's able to do even with that brace. Let's see. Asserting yourself, boy. Oh, thank you for looking that up, Bear. I'll have to look into that because it's like I have to actually go into the YouTube app to do it then. Wolfie sent a DM on Instagram. I'll have to take a look. Sometimes those, those DMs go to like random folders and I gotta make sure I check those. A month between tear up and repave, ah. Man, I've been breathing in this dust for the, it feels like two weeks already. And a lot of streets, like a lot of them, have had tearing up and says, well, the inside of that building is all like plants. What is that place? Some kind of a fancy restaurant. I see tables. April Fools at Raw should be interesting. Yeah, I'm hoping. I'm hoping they do something a little bit more interesting than uh, than me saying I'm going to reveal my job. <laughs> Maddie's here. Yes, I know. Buazasimo, hello. Boating Charlie, a waitress. You could guess, <laughs> but you know the date of the of the month and what it's known for. So I will be playing games with all of you. Ha ha ha. Yep. Smell so much bacon. Uh, it turns out Mike Tyson was at our local diner over the weekend. At least they posted that on their Instagram at Gemini Diner. Patrice, good morning. Oh, yeah, well, I have, I have to like check all the folders. Like, some of the folders aren't obvious if you don't check them frequently, it's kind of annoying. Right. Only incorrect guesses are allowed. If you guess correctly, uh, there will be a knock at your door. And we'll, we'll use a special memory racing cocktail I've developed. Does the IRS take anything from donations? Yeah, you got to pay tax on all this stuff. You got to pay the tax, man. Pay the troll toll. All right, we're gonna bounce on up the High Line, continue our traverse or trek uptown. Also, it's threatening rain any moment, so I'd like to not be caught in any of that, but when do I get what I want? RJ's here. Good morning. Already fooled myself, Adam. Bob likes Skechers. Cynthia, no, check the day. 
Check the day. Check your calendars. Yeah, I'll reveal it at the end of the stream, sure. Stay tuned. <laughs> The weather is April Fool's today. The meteorologists are messing with us. Can't fool Spencer. Tash, hello. Hey, thanks for subscribing. Subscribing, if my mouth would work properly. Appreciate it. We always welcome new friends. Should have done a sitting only stream. Probably right. These are all good ideas for the future. Grand style. Oh, did I feel a drop? I feel something on my bald head. The best weather detector ever. Grand style, 37 months. Got your tickets for the Mets in London? Wait, explain. Thank you for the three plus years of support, Grand Styley. Johnny Internet, professional. Hot dog vendor, man. I couldn't do that kind of job. I'd eat way too many hot dogs myself. I'd eat too much merchandise. No, what are they doing? Come on. Can I actually walk by them? Okay, I think I can. I think I can. I can walk by them. Yeah, Adam, I feel like the the only reason to like make a lot of money is to play better jokes. So one, one day, like, I want to have unlimited money so I could do ridiculous things, practical jokes and whatnot. You know? Jay Bear, hello. RJ, if only. How long has the Highline been officially open? That's a good question. Ask GPT. It should have been open before GPT stopped at the database. Ali Farak, Molly Chamber, hello. Same exact message. Happy trails, kind of precise. Oh, are you trying to resell them, Ambrose? This is like a Met stocks. Is jogging allowed? Hmm. I feel like normally you wouldn't be able to just because there's not enough space to comfortably jog. But I don't know. I'm assuming you could run a little bit. Hmm. We got some official shots of us from CFOT's stream. NYC walking show yesterday. Courtesy of Ron. There could be very specific rules about running on the High Line. You could double check. They probably have it on the website. I don't personally ever see it, so... I'll have to, like, walk around. Well, there's very specific things you can't do. Uh... Let's see, it's on the sign behind me. No smoking, no bicycles, no pets, no skateboards. Hold on, I can't read it. No skateboards, skates, or recreational scooters, no alcohol. And that's the, that's the list of no. Walking and dead, yes. That's enough jobs, right? Yeah, you don't really ever see anybody actually running up here. And this is probably the only time you would see it when it's earlier in the morning and there aren't uh, as many people. Because otherwise it's just gonna get too busy. Thank you, Jay Bear. The subway, is it, is it over, th is it 290, three something? I don't even know. I think it's 290. I don't use it often enough to remember. No running with scissors. Isn't that also 
a video game company. Hmm. Andrew Higginbottom, that's right. It's been... <laughs> I should either make it really an extravagant sounding thing or just keep, keep leaving you hanging like we do. Find out next year on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Anyway. Yes, yeah, the Lantern Building or the Beehive Building as I kept calling it. Highlight is free. It just opens at 7 a.m. Those windows are very reflective, so you can't look in those apartments. I'm guessing you could set that up as an option. Oh, the uh, the shades. Oh, there's so much wasted space between the windows and the, sh and the shades. Huh, that's funny. Sunscreen tester for the hair deprived. It's more like the opposite. I'm an example of what happens when you don't put sunscreen on a bald head for many years. The Bailey, good morning. This building reminds Chris of root beer. There's that weird apartment where there's always something like odd going on. Like they're always opened up to everybody. They used to have that little sign that says exposed NYC. And everything right now is covered in white sheets. So I don't really know what goes on in that apartment, but it's always someone's doing yoga there with cats. There's like a, like they keep everything open. I don't know. I, yeah. That's the apartment that I'm talking about. There's like always a lot of stuff. They're just covered in sheets. Sometimes there's filming equipment in there. I don't know. It's exposed at NYC. I don't see the sign anymore. That's what it said before. And they're all walking like in line. Like how do you walk like that? <laughs> Take up the entire narrow path, shoulder to shoulder. Like and, and barely even make an effort to let a single person pass. <laughs> am, I, am I too grumpy? Or am I not grumpy enough? Which one is it? Maybe they want you to think different things? Maybe. Maybe it's where that lady puts on shows too from yesterday. Teresa, hello. <laughs> stream sponsored by NordVPN, Manscaped, War Thunder. What's the other one? Like Battleground something? Not grumpy enough, appropriate grumpiness. Crackhead Barney, yeah, that was the name. Crackhead Barney from we heard we learned from my friend Rethink Cosplay. I know I'm walking on their path. They own the place. Grumpy is the new happy, it's just baseline. If you're grumpy, then you're you're happy. And that's and that's the bottom line. I mean I think I'm starting to feel droplets, so it's it's coming soon. Oh. Ambrose saw them. Is that the second one then? Because Yeah. If you're grumpy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're grumpy and you know it, flip them off. Carolina, hello. Moon is here, can't see it today, it's too cloudy. Teresia, you know, unofficially and officially, yes and no. <laughs> I 
There are actually quite a few people on the high line today. More than I uh, would have expected. Only children's songs big as a walk shun. You just gotta put, put on system over down all the time. Yeah, that's appropriate. Plus the weather like in May, warming up. It's on the warmer end of the transition into summer. I usually like to try, I hope to lose my jacket by mid-May. That's my goal. Ideally, I would lose it in April though, because if I could have six months of no jacket, that would be perfect. I don't think it'll work though. There's also like a threat of winter weather by the end of this week. I don't think New York City's really gonna get it though. It's not over yet. Any LA walks in the future? I mean, if work takes me out there, maybe. Poppy, glad you enjoyed. I'm a lion tamer. Soon to be. Teresa liked the geoguessing game. Yeah, that was a fun one. I need to do more of those things. Yeah, the leaves are really gonna pop out very soon here on the high line. You can see it. Chris is trying to sell me in Arizona. Rarely a jacket is required. As long as you can wear dress shorts in Arizona. Like at the highest level. Like if you're required to be black tie, I would request that dress shorts become the norm or fit within that narrative. That's what I want. Terry Wells, good morning. In the real life James Bond, if only. I am an expert of international espionage. Mm -hmm. I do have my umbrella handy. Well, handy is... Mm, if I internally rotate my shoulder beyond its limits, it's, I can get it out. But, unlikely. I'll probably have to take off my backpack. I'm walking on sunshine. Oh yeah, there's like a prickly pear cactus up here too. Ah, oh, I just touched my screen. Can you see that? Okay. Again, all in a row. Tuxedo dress shorts are available. Let's do it. The droplets are coming. I mean, it's, I think my pocket is, uh, my DJI pocket is all screwed up anyway. It doesn't matter at this point. I probably should have just switched to the action, but wobbly. All 
Alright, I probably should try to get the umbrella out so I have it ready. I really don't own oh, another part of the island that's closed. I don't know why they're trying to go into it. Oh, it's a private event. Oh, it's close to a private event, it said. It didn't even say anything about work or renovation or whatever. Or maintenance. Unless the private event is maintenance. If you get stranded on the high line, you can extract some water from there. What is this car? Why is it here? Oh, it's an advertisement for the uh, auto show. They're saying, look at the entire Volkswagen family if you come to the auto show. 75 years of Volkswagen. Should I stay outside or go through the shops area? Oh yeah, our story's gonna self-destruct. Full marathon soon, if only. I didn't get off the lottery entrance. Vessel still closed. Forever. We didn't see too much Volkswagen at the auto show? Hmm. I'm nervous about the music in there, but I guess we could always go on to the noise suppression. All right, let's go. I don't hear too much yet. The mirror is a little bit like foggy in here. <laughs> Dusty, maybe? Oh, maybe it's from the construction they're doing. Oof. Oh, gosh. This place is not pleasant at the moment. Oh, well, let's go up and around, I guess, since we're here anyway. Maybe Marianne, hello. Wolfie, I did. I don't know where they came from, but I did get some copyright issues. I have to review the stream to see which time was the violating one. There were two, I think. Rocky Road wants us to give up the power or the Powerball numbers. If only I knew them. Is that Mark Wahlberg? Looks surprised. Apparently there's a Hudson Yards Rewards Program. Right over here, it says it. Hmm. Pedro's coming. I think one of the floors near the back, or near the vessel side, maybe two of the floors are doing construction. Huh? I don't know exactly what they're doing, but they're doing something. Go to the Boston Marathon. Uh, I hope this music isn't going to get us. I don't know. I've had enough of these. Uh... Is that going to? Nope. My, my link to uh... the thing is gone. What are they opening soon? A Van Leeuwen? Didn't they already have one here? Or is that a different ice cream shop? Hmm. Anyway, another Muji here. Muji Muji. Oh, Fuku's here too with their sandwiches. Hmm. 
Oh, I went too far. There's no like escalators that go down on this side. All right, let's go back. Did they run? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, Gigi's here. Good morning. All right, we'll go to the, to the escalators. It'll take us out. Nice, big as a walk, Sean. Got a few followers left, or joined. Cantankerous. I like that word. Steve Smith. New house chocolate over here. Hmm. Flower booth. All right. Let's see what the rain situation is like now. I don't see that many umbrellas. I don't know if it's because people are unprepared or if it's not raining enough yet. Sorry, I'm glad it's it's working out okay. No, we're on a pocket three. It's tougher to get into the Boston Marathon, the NYC Marathon? Why is that? Sebastian didn't get a notification. What a surprise. YouTube's always doing something weird. Jason Freeman says it's time to walk the sewers. I see one umbrella. I see two umbrellas. All right. I probably should take this time to pull the umbrella out of my um, bag. Let me do that now. How am I going to do this? Okay. It's a broken umbrella. Oh, man. It's wire. Okay. Oh, that company with the a XR AR glasses got back to me after I bumped it up and they said, Oh, it went to my spam. And then they said, uh -huh. At this time, uh, we're not going to collaborate with you. It's nothing about you or your content. It's just not aligned with our... Yeah. It's, it's probably like, oh, you don't have enough followers for us to care. I think that's probably what it means. <laughs> oh, you have to qualify on time for the Boston Marathon. There's no way to get in there. No lottery, no like uh, um, charity stuff. I'll see if this umbrella will even open anymore. This is like so dead. Hold on. There we go. Discord still gives notifications. Yeah, I tried to set it up so that anytime I go I go live or post a video, it's supposed to have a more accurate notification. I guess it was able to do that. Whee! Superman my way to the revolving door. It's how the umbrella come, came out. I mean, you can get into the New York one off a lottery, too, without having any qualifiers. Or go through a charity or whatever. Then you gotta pay more money. I didn't, I never sent it in. 
there's like never a, long, a short enough stretch or a long enough stretch of dryness in the spring that I feel comfortable. Like I check the weather and then I say, nah, it looks like it's gonna rain. I better keep it. I mean, until it fully falls apart, then I have no, I have no excuse anymore. I don't know. A minimum time, huh? Sandy Hill, welcome back. Should I go through Moynihan again or no? Well, one time they claimed they couldn't, they tried to give me a, a worse version of an umbrella than I had, but then it turns out they had two versions of that umbrella and they thought that there's no way I had that original version, but I found my original email that proved it. And before I even did that, I decided to buy it to compare. <laughs> And so now I do have an extra one, actually. But I really don't want to use it until I have no other option. That's like my, my ultimate backup. I think it's cooler now than it was earlier this morning. So I should go through Moynihan again. I'll look at that Chevy like a rock ad because of my consistency. I am talking about Davik. Made by Dave Kang. I smell bacon. It's not fair. Pedro plays guitar, there's BNH. Sean went there yesterday. Left empty-handed. I feel like this umbrella has a limited amount of openings and closings left. So I hope me going inside Moynihan isn't going to be the last time I can close it. Or reopen it again. I'm sure it'll close, but will it reopen? I don't know. Oh, look at this. One of them doesn't even want to collapse all the way anymore. Hey, it's barely wet. Like, anyway. Okay, let me check my chat. Being just want to browse. Did you ask him anything about live streaming? because they have offices here now. Which is kind of cool if you're commuting in, you never even have to leave the station. You can get to your office if it's raining or whatever, direct. And then you don't even have to leave the place. Oh, Facebook has free food.
So that was weird. Biggs and Walk Sean, that, I went to the Bella box and it said there was an error that the stream ID is already in use and it couldn't connect to the SRT server because of that. I've never heard of that before, so I don't know what that's about. Um, also, I need to like check because I lost, um, I lost, oh no, the iPhone's back now. Okay, the iPhone's back. I think you did that stupid trusting the computer thing again, so we should be okay now. Everything, everything is there. All right, I still don't know what caused that. Let's take another peek around this food court here. Jacob's Pickles on the left has fried chicken biscuit sandwiches. That sounds very tasty. But the, the interesting thing about this, Adam, since you weren't here last time we noticed this, is they have a pastrami queen here. I did restart it, Bagels and Walk Sean. That's what let me bring it back. I couldn't just start and stop the stream. They have a pastrami egg on a bagel. Bond Street Sushi has a little bit of a thing here. Yeah, they have a very nice food court here for uh, for the newer Moynihan. Jacob's Pickles has breakfast biscuits. Ah, oh, so they didn't pass over this one, Bagels Walk Shot? Got it. Vesuvio Bakery. Oh, I like how these actually close. They have a bunch of accordion doors, and they can close off the whole shop when it's not open. Oh, that music sounds dangerous for copyright. Wolfie's Hotel is going to be close. Nice. RJ's going? All right, have a good one. Janice in Budapest, hello. Susie was happy about the lady announcing the trains. Hold the door for them to say nothing. Which is what I did. Ha. I'm funny like that. Or ridiculous like that. Let's see the progress by Penn Station. I'm gonna walk down 33rd. Sandy, good night. Jim Barrows, good morning. Should I sing it? Like The Rock, Moana. What can I say except you're welcome? And uh, Monday Night Raw is not at MSG, it's at Barclays. They should have done it at MSG. I don't know. Because, like, they, they used to do WrestleMania, the big number of WrestleManias at MSG. And since MSG and Barclays are almost the same anyway, they should have just uh, combined them. Or not combined them. Actually, they could have combined them. Haven't they, haven't they done that before? Have a multi-venue uh, event? Or am I making that up? Was that WWE that did that or somebody else? Like a multi-venue simultaneous event. I don't know. Oh, did I miss something? Oh, Park Avenue. You've done too much again. The $20 super sticker. Thank you, Park Avenue, for your extended support. Now and always, I appreciate you. Thank you, Park Avenue. Sorry I missed it before. Oh, is Mie here too? Are you still in New York? And I saw that you were at the uh, at the Easter Parade and Bonnet Festival, but 
it was it's impossible to see anybody in there anyway unless you have like a gimbal or a giant camera setup or a specific costume I couldn't find my friend at all in there but then now after we saw his costume I know why we never would have uh, been able to see that with a face covering am I gonna be knackered by the end of the night yeah because raw goes to like 11 which is past my bedtime so I think I'm gonna be completely pooped tomorrow Oh, you're back in the UK, Red Eye Flight. Got it. Well, welcome home. Great. Allow me in New York to welcome you home in the UK. I think it works that way. Yeah, this umbrella is so dead. I gotta send it in. Regardless, I'm gonna have to use my backup one. Oh, yeah, that, in a, that place is a sardine can, especially if you're right by, um, if you're right by St. Patrick's, that was the worst part of it. As soon as you leave that block, it gets a little bit more breathable. The dentist noises. Re-angle that a little bit. There we go. Let's go down 34 and see how busy it is. Robert, good morning. Did he find a place to pee? I think he just went home. The napkin dispenser was good. Original six. Did I? In case you're wondering, check your calendars. Hand to go, hello. Isabella, that's the question. That's the big question. The other option was just like put the snow stream thing on and not even mention it. Let people think it's snowing. It is a work day today for me, yes. It's gonna suck because I still gotta wake up at five tomorrow and work out before work. Regardless of my lack of sleep, I must. Goals. Oh boy. The umbrella guy? Oh, is that like his spot? Remember last time I walked by here when it was raining, there was some guy selling umbrellas and they couldn't hear the full word until I got close to him because just something, like, oh, he's back. That must be his spot. That's territory. He claimed it. Do I have to work out for work? I just have to look imposing. Because I want to. No. <laughs> oh man. Oh, we could have made that light if I walked a little faster, but it's hard to. Uh, nah, I don't think I would have made it. Never mind. A secret shopper for the Outback restaurants. Yes. Crossover. I'm trying to I'm trying to make sure that everyone has good bread at their outbacks and good blooming onions. Standard. Sebastian. 
That's right, Roger. This is the biggest scam I pulled on the channel, I think. It's my biggest scam of all. And I still feel bad about it. Did my umbrella come from that guy? That, unless that guy's Dave Kang, then no. If I were the inventor of the Bloomin' Onion, I wouldn't have to work right now. They had very good bread. This Hatback restaurant. <laughs> I, um, it's something I joke about because we have a few folks from Australia. It's supposed to be an Australian themed restaurant, but like, in the grand scheme of things, apparently it has nothing to do with Australia. So I, I joke about it. But, unironically, they do have very good bread. The bread they bring to the table is always very soft, and with the butter they bring, it's quite tasty. It's a joke. It's a running joke. And there's like, no, but, but for us also growing up, for whatever reason, it became one of the spots that we would have little gatherings in, whether it be that or Pizzeria Uno or not, usually not Applebee's or anything. Sometimes Dallas barbecue. But yeah, you know, we were younger, had less money. It was a good spot. So we still like to go back for nostalgia's sake. But now they're like all gone. Carrot rye bread from Olenstein. We have one of those here, did you get? But I'm assuming you guys have that a, across the pond also, right? Baked sweet potatoes underrated. Yeah, they got some gems, right? I mean, the blooming onion's very good too. I mean, it's hard to screw up something that's deep fried, I guess, if you like that kind of stuff. All right, I wanna make sure we make crossing Fifth Avenue. Super dry. What happened to the super wow guy? Did he, uh, did he miss his 15 minutes? Are they gone? Super wow. Got it. Carrot and rye bread. I'll have to try it. Do not have appetizers? They have Aussie-tizers? That's how you know they're legit. The other part you know is that they actually have kangaroos who uh, wait the tables. It's a little known fact about them. They look like people, but they're actually kangaroos. All right. No, I should have been driving. I'm assuming people, some people took off one way or another, maybe. Or maybe nobody wants to be involved in any April Fool's gags. Can you do that with like the Uber and Lyft apps? Take a ride and then last second cancel it and say April Fool's. Sounds like a bad idea. Adam just thinks about Haley Joel Osmond. Holly Schuyler, hello. Yes, Diane Van. The biggest scam I pulled on my channel. We gotta take a different route one of these next Mondays. We always do the High Line, but the High Line's gonna start looking very nice when everything comes into bloom. What the 
go down to City Hall. I like this. <laughs> Listen to that congestion. Gonna tax me too. All right. So I got some bad jokes. I don't know, Nathan. Are you seeing any hints of such? Do your eyes deceive you, Nathan? Different Adam. He's here as well. Hello. De Cesar in Brazil. Hello. Jamestown still wintry. Got a Howie. Ooh, panda girl. Maybe you might be able to. Still, but there should be another round of later blooming cherry blossoms. I think. I think. So there's still a chance. The west side of the reservoir hasn't hit its peak yet. Not yet. Teresa, you've been a party pooper. <laughs> yes. I forgot my hat though. My special chef's hat. Ken Shabby on Twitch. Hello, happy Monday. JJC Test from France. Hello. Ah, is Mars and Worldwide Angel here? Good morning. Oh, we can guess, we can guess. Party pooper? Yes. Is cheese really dairy? Is dairy really cheese? I don't know. We're getting disease. My bum is on the rail. My bum is on the rail. For Easter itself? I don't know. He did dress up for the... for the bonnet parade. I guess that counts, right? Yeah, this year was Easter, yes. So I guess the the answer is yes. We found him later in the stream. Down South Stitcher. Believe it or not, it is April 1st. We are going to take a few guesses at my job. Will I reveal what I do for work? I don't know. It's April 1st. Or something, I don't know, whatever. JJC's really in France. Not trying to fool us. Uh, that's right, we passed by Adam's building and I forgot to uh, highlight it. I'm an idiot. I think I'm just tired. We did a lot of walking over the weekend, extra walking, both Saturday and Sunday. And that was after a good 12 days of work in a row, so I didn't really relax that much. Oh well. Only me is back. Oh, is that It's Only Me? Yeah, I don't know what happened. I didn't find you on any ban lists. Unless YouTube did something to you globally. Prince Ice is here. I'm a shoe tester. I should be. I should be. Mm.
listless receptionist. I do know computers a little bit, you know. And that ramen omakase place and furniture showroom, I don't know. Tangy Noodle, you didn't even know there was going to be a Tangy Noodle and it finished opening up its doors before that Ramen Omakase place. So I don't know. Super narrow of a sidewalk here. Maybe I am T Cash. Let's see if there's a spot I can sneak through here. That was the spot. That was the spot. Oh, can I just make this? I think so. I think there's a chance I can make it. Yeah, the they did, they did, light didn't change yet for the cars. They're still standing there. A paralegal? If only. Or if only not. Do I do impressions? Eh. Poor ones. That's right, Ambrose. I was hired by one of their competitors to, uh, and to sully the name of the mattress firm. Viral video, huh? I don't know if I know that one. Party pooper viral video. See, in theory, I should be able to make this light. In practice, with the cars turning. Now we'll make it. Flula? Fiula? Flula? Hmm. My memory banks have no recollections. Copper building on the upper left. Oh, I think, I see, I, I got the message. I'll take a look. Yeah, yeah. Wizard of Visit coming soon to an NYC near you. Jetstar. Check your calendar. Oh, no, I was saying good morning to Heather. See if I want to take a little break. Hmm. I'm not gonna run it. All right. Could have. Traffic's trying to tell that guy he can't park there, but I don't know.
Could be Diane, could be. Oh, oh. It should be changing shortly. Yeah. wind is coming for me. Oh, this bell, I love that job. Maybe it's time I, I do just review every omakase place myself. Part of the problem. Is that Merrick? Hello? I'm the drummer for Pantera. Oh, the drum tech. Pantera. There's construction everywhere today. in my spot, like, uh, like Sheldon, it's in my spot, person on the bench is reconnecting with all those pigeons around them, anyway, a graffiti inspector, ooh, Tyver MacGyver, that's me. All right, I'm kind of I'm tired today. I don't know. It's been a lot of a, a lot of extra stuff recently, but I'm glad my my remainder of my work today is going to be at a at a computer. And then I got to go to RAW Monday Night RAW. Anyway, thanks everyone for, for joining me today on this commute. In an initially cloudy and now rainy New York. Rainy for the next three days or something like that, so that's happening. So potentially our, uh, our Wednesday walk will be in the rain too. I just hope it doesn't mess too much with the cherry blossoms. It might take them out. I mean, it's all rain for the next couple of days, so they might get taken out. Hey, it was good to see some familiar faces and names we haven't seen in a while. Mia is safely back home. We felt your presence in New York. For a brief yet powerful moment. <laughs> but no, yeah, thanks again everyone for joining. Always appreciate your support, spending time with us. Super Chat, Super Stickers, PayPal, Patreon, memberships. The birds toppins about toppins 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 about anyway. 
subscribers thank you not subscribers thank you too if you're listening and not subscribed think about it thank you for your thumbs always collecting more thanks to the mods whoa 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 the waves and again good to see some familiar some familiar names anyway have a great rest of Monday Tuesday sorry about my scam uh, and I'll see you Wednesday morning New York time about 6am until then bye